Folks, welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans, for the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by my co-host. He's the man in black with a little bit of blue. Touch of the blue. The one, the only, the man they call Derek. What up? We are here to discuss AEW Dynamite for March 27th, 2024. Appreciate everyone who has decided to join us. Do us a favor. If you're watching live on YouTube, hit the like button. If you're listening to the audio platforms, we appreciate you as well. Give us five stars. If you've done it on Spotify, go do it on Apple Podcasts. If you've done it on Apple Podcasts, go do it on Spotify. If you've done it on both of those, go to Good Pods and give us five stars. Leave us a great review. Copy and paste your previous ones. It doesn't matter. All the reviews matter, so we thank you guys for those as well. And those I know take a little bit more time, but thank you for that. Um, we, we got a lot to get into tonight, Derek. We got a lot of AEW news to get into. And yeah, yeah, we're going to talk a lot of pro wrestling tonight. So uh, buckle up, buckle in, and uh, knuckle up. It's not the big three, homie. It's just big me, Kendrick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's uh, let's let's get ready to talk some pro wrestling, Derek. Shall we? Yes, sir. Life is good with you. Life is good. How's the baseball tip? That's good, man. Good. Uh, Picking up some more lessons, so everything's solid. You're taking lessons or you're teaching lessons? Well, teaching lessons. I had to make sure you guys knew. Yes. Teaching, teaching, teaching. What do you teach, Derek? Just for the people wondering. I teach pitching and hitting. (laughs) Trying to make elite pitchers and elite hitters. Elite, you say. Elite. Pun intended. Um, let's welcome the normal uh, chat folks in here. Number one, Terrell, first one in here. Uh, looks like the Young Bucks called an audible due to private party injury. I don't know if uh, I don't know if someone got hurt or not. Uh, there's a lot to get into with that matchup. Uh, we'll get into that, touch on it momentarily, but. Could be. I didn't read anything about Private Party being hurt, but let me know if you guys saw that as well. Mike from The Rock. So contagious. What's good, Mike? Appreciate you. Uh, Sir Sir Quill's in the house. Hold on here. I got a frog in my throat. throat) Uh -uh. Not today. Little Stone Cold. Uh, Quill says, what up, Conrad and Derek? And chat, it's your boy, Sir Quills, back from hiatus to enjoy another Dynamite review. Conrad, you are my guy. And Derek, yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. Clown in the house saying evening, everybody. What up, Clown? Clown, I love the NWO logo that you got in the profile pic, bro. Always got to show love. Easy in the house saying, yeah, yeah. What's good, E? Or, that's the, or maybe it's just yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> What's good, E? Uh, Pro Wrestling Shoot says the Bucks botched. Today was a good day. I felt I was scared, man. Honestly, <laughs> I felt bad. I, didn't, I don't want to see uh, anybody get hurt, man. That that kind of looks scary. It did. Uh, Matt Lopez says hello, everyone. Good evening. Hope everyone had a good Wednesday. Hope you did too, Matt. Yo, me and Matt were talking about some video games today. You saw that game I sent you? The yeah. uh, Marvels. Yeah, that, that that looks like it'd be fun. It's got potential. I don't want to get too hyped, bro. I feel like with the superhero games, I got to, like, put a lid on it first. Like, I can't get too hyped, but I was sharing it, like, maybe, maybe. Listen, we need we need to get, like, a, uh, need like a new Ninja Turtles one. They that came was- out one a couple years ago. Yeah, need another one. That was good, bro. Now we need another one. We need an X-Men game, like, Ooh. multiplayer, like they used to have. What was that, Sega? Yeah. That was a good game. Were you a Sega kid or a Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo. Nah, get out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sega or Super Nintendo chat, let me know. Hubbard Wrestling Weekly, co-host of Clash of the Podcast every single Monday, live at 6.05 Eastern Standard Time. You know this week's 83 weeks. That was just about as long as WCW's reign on top. 
Well, in two weeks, me and Sean got it beat. So I just want to <laughs> let you know it was fun while it lasted. But uh, yeah, make sure you check out me and Sean every Monday. He says, wow, what a revolutionary concept. The fans want someone in a top spot and the wrestling decision makers actually give the people what they want. Thank you, AEW. What up, Conrad? What up, my guy, Derek? My guy, Hubs. Deanna's in the chat as well. She's shouting out Hubs. She says, hey, how come I'm Co-Rad and Derek? What up, Deanna? <laughs> what up, Deanna? I'm just messing with you for your typo. Uh, Terrell came back in. He said, Derek, Conrad, Hub, salute. Uh, by the way, the final boss is ending the Roman Empire. I truly believe The Rock will invade after Cody wins at WrestleMania. I, I, I want, I want my recognition when this happens. Now, yo, I'm about to make a bold prediction right now. I think The Rock is going to face Cody at the pay per view after. They have to. That's the match I want to see. Now, I'm more invested in that than Cody and Roman. I'm like, this, nah. This is true. This is true. Da, 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 da. Honestly, like Roman could just keep the belt, right? Like at this point, like finish what story? Give me Cody or Rock. I, I will continue to say this forever. No, the final boss is ending the crybabies. <laughs> Jay Uso's gonna turn on Cody for family. There's yo, there's a lot of turns that could happen. Seth could turn on Cody. It makes sense. Jay could turn on Cody. They could both turn on Cody. Rock could turn on Roman. Rock could stay with Roman. You, uh, yo. The opportunities are endless. I'm hearing rumors they're reaching out to brother, 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 man, Hogan, Cena, Austin. What are they calling all these people up for? I don't know. I think it's going to be crazy. Y'all late? I know. Uh, I meant to put uh, BPT this week. Apologies, E. But you stay in here, though. You stay in here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hub is giving his reasons for what's happening. What up, Terrell? BJ, love y'all, man. I miss Dynamite tonight because of prior commitments, but I'll leave my thoughts on the video later. BJ was leaving me some funny comments on uh, Clash of the Podcast this week, which is live every Monday at 6.05. Uh, but I'll leave my thoughts later. Hope everyone is doing well and having a good week. Appreciate you, Beach. Appreciate you. Um, you guys are all going back and forth. Eric in the house, Osprey to dethrone Edge in the next month or so. I do not see that happening. I think we're going to have the cope open for a while. Yeah. Even though I think that's kind of, uh, I don't know. Book book some feuds, bro. Don't stop doing this open yeah. challenge stuff. Uh, Derek is all elite. That's what he said. <laughs> um, let me see here. John G. What up? He's saying hello to us. Uh, he said Shredder's Revenge. See, Quills is with me. Team Sega. Terrell's with you, though. Super Nintendo. Sega Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> when I was dead broke, man, I couldn't picture this. Uh, he said I was a Nintendo until uh, Will now shop Xbox at PS4, too. Super Nintendo. There, were, There's a rumor X-Men game in development by Insomniac. This is. I hope this is separate from the Wolverine game that's yeah. supposedly coming. Definitely need that to be separate. The Rock says today's world's final boss. McKinney's in here. He said, catch y'all on audio. Appreciate you, McKinney. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Terrell coming back in. Kyra thanks Rock and Cody at Backlash. I agree, but I think it may happen at SummerSlam. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Maybe maybe they wait till SummerSlam. They could hold off if they wanted to, but that's Rock has to come back to do it then. Yeah. Uh, Rob says, we were blessed to spoil. We always have both consoles. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, I still have faith they wouldn't do this to Cody. I, I hope they don't. Uh, shout out to the fam at Devlin Audio. I know you know. Hey, what up? What up, man? Devlin Auto, you got some respect tonight because of Rob. Uh, let me see here. Conrad, Derek, you're invited. Please uh, give him the details and let me know if he is available. I don't know about that, Sean. <laughs> I'll, I'll discuss with afterwards with him. We'll see. Quill says, I still got my Sega Genesis today. Quills, your your boy Double A. I think he lost my Sega. <laughs> I think he lost it. I let him use it one time. I ain't seen it since, bro. No bueno. If it's ever worth mad money, Honestly, you just, know what? just know I'm going to have to yoke him up. <laughs> 
I, I gotta say, I don't think I've ever owned a Sega Genesis. Sega was it, bro. I used to have Sega CD too. Did we? Did I own a Sega? No, I don't think I had a Sega. Yeah, I'm gonna find out. You still got all those, or you sold them all? No, no, I still got. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, oh, 4. this man bugging. Bet you five. the controllers don't work. The controllers nah, bugging. I checked them. I checked them. Yeah, all right. Go. I checked my PS3 ones like uh, two, three years back. Them joints do not work, bro. Nah, and it is them. not because the controllers are broken. All of them do like this weird Y axis crap. And I'm like, what happened? Nah, I checked them, bro. Checked them. I got that. I got the Dreamcast. Uh, although I will I will say, somebody somebody went in my basement stole my Nintendo 64. You lucky I ain't know who who it was because uh, it wasn't me because I'm missing mine too. <laughs> Yo, bro, like you do. Oh man, if you if find, I find one, if I find out, I'm putting hands on you. <laughs> if you find one, bring it over here. Ah, listen, uh, I got a website, bro. Here he goes. I got a website. About to have me locked up. <laughs> no, <laughs> Your Honor, this is my proof. I did not do this. So check it out, y'all. Uh, we got some AEW news to get into here real quick. Uh, Sega, did somebody say Streets of Rage? Come on in. <laughs> yo, yo, Rob going in too. Yep, Rob, same crew. Same crew that's lost our systems, man. I feel you, bro. Terrible. I just wanted to send you all this image that Derek sent me this week. <laughs> I didn't even tell Derek I put this in there. But if you're local, you know what this is. Yeah. Derek's classic uh, T-shirt. We should make this a T-shirt one day. Yeah. <laughs> when you're sad and having a bad day, Derek will be the first one to tell you, go get a truckload of donuts. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> go get yourself a donut. <laughs> Derek used to buy those baker dozen donuts and let you get one. <laughs> Yo, I'm, not, I'm not even going to lie, bro. I use a dog donut. <laughs> Eat the whole joint, bro. But leave you those donuts. Also, while we're out here promoting and shilling, I want y'all to know Ring of Honor, Super Card of Honor is happening Friday, April 5th in Philly. Eddie Kingston defends the Ring of Honor World Championship against Mark Briscoe. And I'm trying to avoid any other spoilers, and we will let you know that Athena will be going up against Hikaru Shida. And these are official AEW posters. I like these. Wait a minute. Why is she dressed like that? I don't know. That's just how they did the poster. Pretty dope, though. It is dope. No, I, I, you know what? Honestly, right now, Sheeta looks like a vampire. Yeah, it's fire. It's I, fire art. Like, I think whoever does like AEW's it. posters are really good. No, I, I, I like it. I think she should actually go with that. Look. So, Friday, April 5th, pull up. Maybe you want to order uh, on ROH's uh, streaming platform. Pull up. Where is this going to be shown? Does it have it on here? Is it on this one? Uh, I forgot what that ROH website is. Watch ROH. Matt, Matt's going to put it in the chat. I'll tell you in a second. Uh, and then you pull up with some donuts, sit down, watch man, some Ring of Honor, man. baby. It's going to be the best. That's right. That's right. See, he said it. Fire fire poster. Terrell's already calling. Athena's going to win. Athena's been one of the best, man. Terrell said that's some good glazed donuts. Hold up. They used man. to sell those here in Brooklyn. Dude. They, when, yo, when I seen them. I, 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 oh my God, it's been so long since I've seen them. Like they, like they used to be in like a white box. Uh, yes. That was a what tru a truckload box. Derek, that's what Derek used to have one cup of milk and he would be eating like six of them donuts. And I'm like, bro, there ain't no way. I'm going to just down this milk real quick. <laughs> Bust it. <laughs> Yo, funny story on that. Yo, funny story. Actually, should we tell it? Yeah, yeah I guess we can tell it. So Derek was eating these donuts one night. Was it? I think you had those donuts. I don't remember what you I, were eating. It I, was I something. It was. It was something with those. And Derek had a cup of milk. And Derek happened to just be like, he was staying at my house for a little bit during this time period. And Derek said, "Yo, I'm gonna down this milk real quick, and we can get up on out of here." And I was like, "Oh, okay. I think we're going to play basketball or something yeah. stupid like that." So Derek went into the kitchen. <laughs> And I had I had to go into the kitchen like to get like a water bottle or something. Derek goes into the kitchen and he said he was about to doubt it. And he's I see him pouring the milk down the drain, and he turned around. And I was like busted. <laughs> to this day, anytime Derek mentions milk, I'm like, nah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the look he's on lying. this man's face was priceless. He was a yo crazy. <laughs> Mike. Mike asks, Conrad, uh, I assume for Derek, too, do you think AEW is getting better throughout the week? Yes. Oh, yeah. 
Absolutely. hundred percent better. I have no issues with any of the shows since they've uh, relaunched with the new pattern scheme and stuff that's behind us. No, the, the, the direction that they, that they have been going, it's, it's getting there. It's, it's, focused. it's focused. It's better. All, here's my complaint. All the people who cried and complained about stuff, dog, they, they did like everything y'all asked for. And I still see complaining. I saw the pictures tonight. Look at the arena. It's not full. Then go to the shows, bro. I don't know how everybody's got money for one company and no money for anybody else. When they're all gone, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear, man, I really wish they had some competition. Right. I'm going to be the first one like, ain't got nothing to say. Enjoy, Rob, buddy. Have the fun world, tonight. World's smallest violin. <laughs> Mike said, I love Sega. Sega needs to make a comeback with a new console. I don't think Sega is going to do that. I think they just announced that their video game division was like unionized today. Mm. Uh, I sent it to E earlier, an uh, article about that. So check it out, though. They have a union, and they're like one of the only game companies, I think, that had it. Mm. Um, but good for them. They were getting like pay increases and stuff like that. Yeah. Holla at them. Make an AEW game. There Shoot, I'm go. with it. AOL's making a comeback. I hope not. You've got me. Right. <laughs> Uh, I love Streets of Rage, too. Yo, my dog was skate. Not going to lie. Uh, let me see here. Matt Lopez says, sign up at watchroh.com to watch Supercard. There you go. There you go. He said, got milk. <laughs> Down the drain, bro. <laughs> Down the drain. And it, and it, it was a big blast, too. Yeah. It was like, like when he said I was going to down the rest of this, I was like, ain't no way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way someone about to dom that then go play basketball. <laughs> I was like, he about to be sick, bro. Caught him right in there, bro. Not even, not even a a a, a drip of milk. Man just dumped it. <laughs> it was like right there. <laughs> he said, "Dookie's donuts." Now those are the tops donuts in the truck box, bro. That's if we, if we ever like hear some bad stuff like Conrad, you have diabetes. I'm gonna be like, I know. <laughs> it's, it's from moments like that eating, eating, splitting that with Derek, eating like six donuts in like eight hours. Like, come on, bro, what's wrong with y'all? Can't be doing that no more. Yo, best, best, best after school snack ever, bro. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, sick says I'm not crying and complaining. I just enjoy being a hater. No, no, sick. We appreciate you for who you are here. Eric Douglas says hi. How are y'all? I'm doing good, man. What's doing up, good. Eric? Uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button to the channel if you like what you're seeing. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. And Quill says Athena's one of the best women's wrestlers, yeah, man. I think if you haven't checked oh, yeah. out um, what Ring of Honor is doing, women's division has been the best part of it. Always good week to week. Athena's basically the star of the show, not gonna lie. And Eddie Kinks has kind of been MIA with the Triple Crown, he's been in New Japan, AEW, he can't wrestle in all these places at once, so he's kind of been committing everywhere but Ring of Honor, so good for him. We have uh, more things happening. Uh, I, I hope I'm saying this right. Kosha Irby has also been announced as the chief operating officer for AEW. He's going to be uh, enhancing infrastructure across multiple lines of AEW business. He joined, uh, what was this, the 26th. So this, this was yesterday this came out. Uh, he's going to be in charge of live events, marketing, financing, human resources, licensing, consumer products, and other major business lines for the company. He joins from Clemson University, where he served as chief marketing officer with the athletic department and has previously held positions with the Memphis Express of Alliance for American Football as the chief marketing officer, professional bull riders PBR as the president, and he worked for WWE as regional director of live events. Let's see what he does. The Here's the crazy thing, and I usually don't agree with Uncle Dave about much, but I'm going to say this. <laughs> If your product's not hot, people aren't going to go to the show. So you can have the best ideas in the world, but they got to figure out how to get the product hot. And I don't know what AEW can do to do that right now. I feel like you're waiting for WWE to fumble. Yeah. At this point, I, I think you have to wait for them to mess up. And that's not a good position to be in. Um, And I know you're like 20 minutes in. You guys haven't started talking about the matches. We're going to get through, through those. I promise you. But also in other news, our good friends at Triller TV formerly known as Fight TV, are going to be holding down the pay-per-views moving forward for AEW. So the next three AEW pay-per-views, there are no bundle deals for the people in the U.S. 
All right. But it is available worldwide. I think Triller TV is the best option to watch on because Triller TV is more consistent, I feel, than BR Live. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've ordered many other wrestling shows on there. Much better. I've never had an issue. BR Live, I've had issues. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember one of my Double or Nothing reviews. I missed half of Hangman Page and Brian Cage. And they were talking about they were talking about how much money they were gonna give me back, and it wasn't enough. And I was like, dog, I covered this. Like, you gotta give me more than that. And luckily they cooperated, but I had to like fight for that little bit of money to get a discount. I'm like, you guys screwed up, not me. Right. Wild times, bro. Wild times when it comes to it. So I'm happy it's gonna be on Triller. Like I said, I recommend getting the next three pay-per-views on there if you're tired of BR Live. I'm just putting it out there. Hit them up, hit them up. Um, let me see here. Uh oh, people are talking about some of the other matches. I don't know if that match has been announced yet, Matt. So I don't want to put it up just so I don't spoil it for people for ROH. Uh, I hear you, Conrad. I'm sorry to say, but I'm starting to hate the Cody crybabies. Ah, oh, Jesse ain't gonna like hearing that. He's a Cody fan through and through, man. <laughs> nah, Derek's, De- Derek's definitely team rock. Don't even get him started. He loved the beat down on Monday. Mama Rhodes. <laughs> Spectacular. El Terrible, folks. El Terrible. Spectacular. Here was our lineup tonight for uh, Dynamite. They gave this show kind of a lot of focus on uh, match time, but lots and lots of video packages, promos, hyping up towards the pay-per-view. Do not tell me. They did not listen to you. Don't tell me that. I know Tony got into a little, uh, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? A little fit at one of the scrums back in uh, Tizzy. Tizzy. There we go. There you go. Tizzy fit, maybe. <laughs> he, he got upset and was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm not listening to the fans. I know he said that. And I was mad when he said that because I thought it was a stupid thing for him to say. But I think he was just frustrated mm-hmm. into he didn't know what he had to do. He just lost Punk. He a lot of stuff has happened. Uh, I don't even know. If we want to get into the Jungle Boy stuff, really. I mean, you did you give your thoughts on it? That says it all. So we'll we'll leave that where it is. Um, I just I don't know. I don't know what people want from it. Uh, dude, you know, people scream so loud for. I I need character development. I need stories. But then won't address the the other elephant in the room as to why do you have this talent but you don't ever use them and then you run them through the same matches constantly but then everybody wants to talk about AEW doing the same matches I think I can name off a few different things that repeats itself constantly elsewhere but I'm not going to do that tonight not worth it listen let's focus on the positives for uh, AEW because I, I thought this was a good show it was a uh, big shout out to uh, Prince Rockstar in the chat, XGW. I see you as well. Let's uh, let's talk about this show, Derek. Let's boogie. Will Osprey and Shibata. What a way to start this show off, bro. Man, whoo! This, this this was this was uh, this was a thrill right here. It was. I thought it was uh, excellent, excellent match. It, it was, you know, just, just the back and forth. Like, so this is my first time seeing both of them wrestle each other. I know they gave like the little, the little video package in the beginning. You mean they told you that they wrestled before? Wow. Wow. Sorry. Being a jerk. Go ahead. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, You know what, man? I, I, I have an infinite amount of appreciation for what these two gentlemen do. Especially Shibata. Something wrong with that man. <laughs> Something is wrong with that man. But he, but that but that man is good. That that man is good. Shibata was chopping Osprey out here, giving him some jabs too. Whew. Uh, this was amazing though. You got to see what Will Osprey does, and I don't know if it, it was kind of short for what you would expect for an Osprey match, but we have to learn and grow to expect that from him yeah um different uh different atmosphere different different rules different 
Yeah. I like the story within the match that this told. Conrad, what do you mean? Here's what I'm saying. There was a story within this. The story was because they showed you in the video package that was there. Shibata beat him last time because Will wasn't as experienced. The story in this one was Shibata still experienced and Will had to try to get uh, the advantage long enough to beat him. So he remember he had him locked in like uh, a submission. Mm -hmm. He put his foot underneath it to put his arm out for him. In wrestling, you'd be like, what is he doing? I'm going to grab his arm and bend his fingers back. When he went to do that, it was actually a way for him to escape out of the hold. Boom. Caught Will Ospreay. There, there was meaning to some of this stuff. I know some people don't like it, but that doesn't mean that there's no story behind it. So I thought that this was well done, and it was kind of the Will Ospreay felt like he had to beat this guy yes. to show I'm on my way to get to Brian Danielson. I have to beat you because I didn't beat you in my past. Like I said, this was uh, junior heavyweight Will too that got penalty kicked by him. He got he got his block knocked off and he beat him. And he was like, "Good job, maybe next time, kid." Right. And this was the next time. Will Osprey was hitting os cutters. He hit a hidden blade. He kicked out. Listen, the the one hidden blade as he was standing up. Oh my god, that oh, oh, I jumped out of my seat when that when that came about. I was like, he, he didn't have to do my man like that, not right. at all. Yeah, dude, he he annihilated him. And then again, same exact thing. Just caught him again with another one after he kicked out, and it was GG for Shibata. They showed respect to each other afterwards. Then they went right into a Brian Danielson video package to hype Danielson's not here, but he's not playing around. Danielson basically was like, I'm in the last few months of my career. I'm not playing. I'm coming out, and I'm here to take out anybody that's put in front of me to show that I still have it. I am still one of the best out here. Mess with me if you want to. Right. Great video package. Him in the desert. It worked. Another video package. Another video package. Like I said. Was that two right now? Two. Mm -hmm. Two. And, and the first one was small. Like It was just to give you a quick highlighted history of what happened. But still. this one was like cinema style more like he's he's in the desert he's on the road he's right. talking but then they're showing all the highlights recently of him but regardless that's two that's two um after that we go to a backstage promo where we have the evps talking with renee about okada's big win last week did you see him become the champion uh and then she doesn't really she's not smiling because she's friends with eddie kinks because of john moxley and they said we should we could get marvis to replace you you know smile a little bit around here and yeah, the foolishness continues, and they say lightning doesn't strike twice often. Private party beating them in the first tournament for the AW tag titles was a fluke. So they say. So they say. So will lightning strike twice again? And we find out that that will be the next matchup. I'm going to the chat real quick. Someone said, "Blame it, blame it on the dut 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 donuts." <laughs> Team, just bring it. Uh, Pro Wrestler Shoot, I don't know what the heck that weird face is supposed to mean. Osprey. Osprey. <laughs> uh, I legit thought this was going to be the main event. I, if you guys saw how I labeled the video, I thought this was the main event too. I thought they were going to flip the main event in this one, but you could have went either way with it. Uh, Premier Belize says, what do you rate the show out of 10? We're get, Do you want to give it early? Mm. Stick around till the end, Premier Belize. We usually do that at the end. And we want and you tell us what you thought of the show out of 10, too. Please. Osprey is tough. <laughs> Rob said, let Melzer tell it. Shibata had his entire brain removed and put back. <laughs> it's still one of my favorite stories, bro. Yo, Melzer's a fool, bro. Yo, that's great. Uh Jesse said we got video packages. All is good with the world. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, Video packages are there all the time. They ask for them. They're there I don't, all the time. Like, stop. It's it's oh goalpost moving, though. When people say, like, yeah, we want video packages to explain who people are. Okay, here you go. Okay, so so we want video packages from AEW. AEW that's what we want. We want video packages, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, when it's someone they don't know. Uh, I don't care. We're, we're complaining about video packages, but no one is complaining about if the bloodline isn't there, what is a better story in WWE? 
Well, the bloodline story is infused with many stories, truthfully. But if they're not there, what do you have? Judgment Day. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the stepsons of the bloodline. Uh, let me see Take here. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Man, everybody here is talking about WWE. Uh, I see the eye roll. I think that's because of the opposite Cody remark above it. Uh, Osprey versus Shibata. Great match to start the show. This was pay-per-view worthy match to say the least. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> there they go. They're going in about Cody and everything in the chat. Rob, true story. Give me Danielson versus uh, Funaki from Noah. I'll take it. Rob said no what about isms. Is it a what about ism if it's a good comparison? <laughs> if it's a comparison point? I don't know. I hate when people say what about ism. That's just me, though. I don't like it. I, so I can't make a comparison point. So we're just going to focus in on this and this problem. Y'all tell me, chat. That, that'll be your homework at the end of this. I want to know before you leave out of here. Tell me three things AEW could do to improve their product right now. With with you and you need to be watching the last couple weeks. Tell me three more things that you think they could do to improve. Tell me and and I don't want to hear fire so and so and all that legitimate things that'll help the overall product. All right. Uh, let me see. Let's go back into this. So the next matchup was for the. Tag title tournament, quarterfinals, Young Bucks versus Private Pate. It's video package number three with this one. Oh, oh yeah, they did show a small package to remind you of uh, what happened in the match previously. Uh, I actually loved that match a lot. That, I thought that was a great surprising finish. That was. Uh, Young Bucks were going for the Meltzer driver at the time. He ended up getting caught, roll through, victory roll, one, two, three, Bucks lose, Private Party moved on. They did not win. It actually ended up being uh, SCU were the first ever AEW tag champs, beating the Lucha Bros. Hurt Derek's heart back then. If you want to go back in the archives, the reviews are there for that. Absolutely. It's okay, Derek. They're there. They're there. Um, I just gave you a preview of the next match. So, <sighs> Private Party, we got a great spot. They hit the, the gin and juice. I was happy with them uh, doing that. Yo, Rick Knox, bro. <laughs> what the hell, bro? <laughs> Rick, 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 Rick. Yo, Rick Knox. Out of all the referees in AW, bro. You're so the there was a spot where a low blow happened behind the rest back. Derek heard me call it, but I did not think Private Party would grab one of the belts off the stands, crack one of the young bucks in the head with it, because they're technically both heels. Right, exactly. And down goes one of the Bucks. They go for the pin. One, two. Rick Knox's turn right towards the feet. His foot is off the rope. And you see his brother grab his foot and put it on the rope. I was like, yo, I know Rick Knox saw that. There's no, you're like, imagine I'm right here. Like, this is the camera. He was right. One, two. Oh, what's on the rope? Bro, you didn't even look away. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, first one, we're striking as a no. Suspend Paul White indefinitely. I didn't say fired, so it counts. <laughs> uh, he's got a point. That's ridiculous. He's got a point, man. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you leave that legend alone. <laughs> oh. Afterwards, Mark Quinn went for like a 630. I'm not going to lie, guys. Bro ain't shit. He missed completely. He then goes for, uh, they go for the EVP trigger, and, like, Nick Jackson just fell. Like, they went to put their foot back. He just, it was like slip and slide. Got more punched than a bowl of juice. Like, whoa, whoa. Shake it, I, shake it there. I, 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 like, I didn't, I didn't see, like, fully how he slipped back, but I'm, I'm wondering if he, like, misplaced his foot. Yeah, I I don't I don't know what happened, but he he lost his balance. They fell. It, the move didn't work the way they wanted to. Then they both penned him. It ended very awkwardly. Uh, but I think it was just due to the slip. Like I don't know if it was wet in the ring or what, but he just he just fell out like completely. It had. It looked scary. Like I thought he got hurt. And listen, I know you guys know uh, Kyra doesn't like the young bucks. If you come in here, but I don't want to see one of them get hurt. Like that's messed up. 
I don't wish that pain upon nobody, but I I was worried about him. Honestly, I was like, I don't know what happened, but it looks like he's okay. If I'm betting, yeah, they came back out later, so I I, I would assume that he, that he's fine. I, I think it was just just a foot misplacement, and he just slipped. Okada's cheering them on backstage. Uh, they get the big victory here. I don't know, man. I don't know. They 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 show the other side of the bracket, which will be happening on collision. So we have FTR versus the infantry. All right, that's uh Sean Dean and Bravo. So they're gonna be over there on collision. I think that's gonna be a sleeper match. People will enjoy on Saturday. And Big Bill and Ricky Starks versus Top Flight should be fun. But be let's let's give it to Big Bill and Ricky, I'd say. Let yeah. them have some fun, man. Um I'm happy with it. Also on ramp or excuse me, collision. We are going to have the uh, Cope Open, I guess we'll call it, the TNT <laughs> Open Challenge. They will be in London, Ontario at the Budweiser Gardens. Hopefully a bigger turnout than what we got for tonight, but great matchup last week between uh, Adam Copeland and Christian Cage. I thought it was a phenomenal match. If you haven't checked it out, please do. Go watch that. That was that that, that was really good. Yeah, it, I thought it was great. Not, not going to lie, like it was a, a, a great matchup. I know some people said it was like WWE-ified a little bit, but I, I enjoyed it still. That didn't matter to Who me. Who cares? It was a good match. Right? Um, <laughs> somebody said bad EVP. Come on now. All I want to see is uh, Adam Copeland retire as champion. Uh, it was a, Deanna said it was a nutcracker of a match. <laughs> I think that... <clears throat> What they can do here is find a way to reunite them yes. eventually. I'm not saying do it right away. Maybe it's in six months from now, but find a way to reunite these two. I can see them getting a run with their tag titles. So, yeah, I, I definitely see it. Right. Yo, weird question for everybody in the chat, too. Here's another one. Is this the best tag team feud of all time? Adam Copeland, Christian Cage. Because think about many of the other ones. They either didn't last too long or they uh, they just didn't work for whatever reason. Especially like the brother-brother ones. Yeah. Like Brett and Owen didn't really count. They weren't really a team. But right. that was a great feud. You have the Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys feuding with each other never felt good in my opinion. It always sucked. I don't know if anyone enjoyed it. I apologize if you did. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't believable. Sean and Marty, even Marty Janetti, always something went wrong every time they were supposed to feud, so they never really got to feud. Yeah, um, Sean and Diesel. Eh. Yeah. I enjoy Adam Copeland, aka Edge, <laughs> and Christian Cage. I think they've always had good feuds. Someone said the Usos. Cray, come on now, Cray. <laughs> come on, Cray. This just happened. This is, I don't think it's an all time classic. No. Uh, I, I yeah I say I say uh, what up Chad? What up? What up? Um, I say Adam Copeland and Christian Cage. It's up there, right? Yeah. Like best tag team to split up and have a feud. I don't I don't think there's any other one that you could say. I mean, like I'd have to really think about it. I, I'd have to go and sit down and really really think about it. maybe Sting and Luger, but okay. Were they like they friend? were? They were friends always. Like they always teamed up. Okay. They faced the Steiner brothers in Super Brawl. I guess. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, going to what Cray said here. Cray said, one of the problems is the wrestlers don't present themselves as standout. Example, look at what they wear. Looks like I made the Bucks gear. Uh, Cassidy will never evolve as a character. I don't know if you're talking about Orange or whomever. Um, there's time for that stuff, though, too. If Orange's character is one of the best, why would you change it right now, though? He is, like, the top search name on their YouTube channel. Like, if you look at their top 10 videos, I'm pretty sure the names that you'll constantly see in there are Orange Cassidy, CM Punk, maybe Kenny Omega, MJF. It's the same people, though. Why would you change their characters? It is, yeah. Uh, I'm going in. So it said Usos. Uh, let me see here. Oh, it's Chad's birthday? Happy birthday, Happy birthday Chad. No impact wrestling for me tomorrow because I'll be selling my 30th. Welcome to the big 3 0, brother. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Go out and do some athletic stuff. 
Please enjoy. Enjoy them 30s. Stay nimble. <laughs> uh, yes. So happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Um, do do do. Let me see. Oh, there was another match to announce for Collision. I'm going to say it now because it came later on in the show. Brian Danielson, Claudio Castagnoli, and Shibata. Uh, I, I think because Wheeler Yuta's injured, they've been having people fill in because even for AAA, Matt Seidel will fi- uh, go down there with them to uh, fill in for the BCC on Team AEW. They're going to be facing Lance Archer and the Righteous. So Lance Archer and the Righteous versus Danielson, Claudio, and Shibata. I like it. Trios match. Good. Good. It sounds good. It's going to be sloppy, though. Darby Allen was chilling with our all-time favorite video game guy, Tony Hawk. <laughs> Tony Hawk. They were promoting skatepark.org. Uh, they were trying to set up skate parks everywhere else. Being on the East Coast, we don't really have too many like places. Anybody who I know that became like, I think I know someone who became a professional like BMX bike rider. He did all that stuff like at the libraries, doing stuff where he wasn't supposed to. <laughs> In other places on the West Coast. You got we got places everywhere. They got parks and stuff to go do that stuff. Yeah, at. like it it sucks over here for those who who wanted venture down that road. Like, believe you, believe you me. I used to watch X Games all the time growing up. Like I I, I remember all all the all the skate parks, all the BMX uh, tricks, everything. Like I used to watch all that, and I have an, uh, an, a high appreciation for anybody who ventures down that road because it it's it, 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 it's exciting you for someone to do to do a move with a skateboard the way that they that they do it and land it nah Derek was up here and the when the commercial was ended they showed tony hawk hitting some moves there it's like 900 i was like hell <laughs> no nah, not not these days <laughs> listen i was hoping i was nah, hoping. bro i can hear that back cracking as soon as that spin happened <laughs> oh god <laughs> Call my wife. <laughs> my back. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, you can't be messing up Tony Hawk, man. He's an OG. But cool for them, though, for uh, building skate parks and stuff for uh, kids. Like, that's that's what's up, man. Yo, I, I, extra points if, if people can remember the uh, the dude who had to move uh, Christ Air. That was that was a dope move. Yeah, that was a good move. Uh, shout out to Bob Burn Twist. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, dear God, don't tell me he did anything wrong. I only remember him from the Tony Hawk games. <laughs> I, f- I forgot how we live today, so you never know. Right. Um, Chris Jericho and Hooker backstage. Jericho offers to be Hook's mentor. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't want Whatever. This. Whatever. I'm moving past this. I don't I, want I, I, Yeah. Yeah. I'm not feeling this, really. I don't want it. Because I, I, I feel like at this point, Jericho's just trying to stay relevant. Bro, it's okay. It's okay. Well, I do argue and defend. For his physical points of wrestling, well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If he goes out, he's gonna lock up, and he, you don't want that to happen, right? Yeah, <laughs> here comes E Succubus. <laughs> Cody did call him that too. That's my favorite Cody promo, by the way. That was when Cody was on fire. Next up, we have a four way winner gets a TBS title shot at Dynasty. Yo, shout out to Mercedes Monet for not putting herself in the like. She could have probably instantly went right up against Tony Storm, and instead she's like, "Nah, keep me right here." Right. There's a story here with Willow. Tell the story because Willow was the last person I faced before I got injured. Right. Boom. So she's on commentary. She looked like a star, though. She did. I. I that's one thing I will say. Cray was talking about look like a star. I thought Mercedes Monet. She looks like she belongs in Hollywood or something else. Um. We got Chris Statlander versus Sky Blue, Anna J, Willow Nightingale. I'm not going to bore you guys. It was a four way. It gets clunky sometimes. Uh, people were flying all over the place. Sky Blue, uh, she looked really good in this match, I thought, in a she bunch did. of spots. Um, in the end, though, Anna J got caught sleeping. Gut wrench power bomb by Willow. They teased a lot of Willow and Statlander not getting along in this. Right. Very awkward. Very. Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention. Watch Chris Statlander. Watch it. Gut wrench power bomb. Willow is getting the title shot against Julia Hart. I think I'm calling it out. Chris Statlander is going to cost Willow this match. She is crazy. She is honestly, bro. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> 
Chad said by AW United, the match was the Peaches match. Chad, it's your birthday. I'm going to let you slide, bro. Peaches. Ta 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 delicious. They were, oh, oh, Terrell comes in. They were building two of the parks in New York, but they got delayed. City says it goes against parking reservation, according to some reports. Of course. I feel like this is more of a Northwest thing. If anybody's from the West Coast, please tell me, like, are there skate parks everywhere? Because I I couldn't tell you if there was a skate park here. I don't know of any. There's one skate park here, and it's not not big, but it's one skate park over. um, uh, Is it it that pool by Shosha? No, 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 they, no, they tore that down. There's no pools over there anymore. Nah, yeah. no, I haven't been over there in a minute. No, nah, they tore it down. So man. when I was a kid, we used to be bad and we like hop the fence over there and just chill over there. Oh, yeah, stuff. That fence is high, bro. Like yeah. when you when I tell you this, bro, this is like scaling the '80s cage, the blue cage with, with Hogan and Bundy, and not that easy to put your foot in either. Like mm. definitely could have ripped the crotch trying to uh, <laughs> trying to hop over that thing. The big. Uh... Big X spokes. <laughs> um, no, there is one skate park over by the uh, the uh, the hockey rink. The Amherst one. Yeah, they, yeah. They they built one out there, but it's not big. Someone said Woodland, phenomenal. Let's see. I can tell you where there's a skate park, at least not in my area. Oh, I couldn't tell you. NYC got skate parks for days. Yo, where am I? Must be. I'm just out of it. It must be something you got to look up in Google, like to find, because I never even knew there was one over there. Yeah, it, it, it is something that you're probably gonna have to look up and find. But I think that's literally, I, I you know what? You're gonna verify? Yeah. Yeah. Make Put Derek to the test, y'all. Don't let Derek slide with this stuff. Can't. Can't. Uh, backstage, we get Derek's boy, Dustin Rhodes, the natural. He's backstage. Uh, talking, he actually has a pretty good record this year. I did not notice that he only has one loss. Dustin Rhodes is interrupted by the butcher. Well, apparently we, we do have some. We we got quite a few here. I guess. Wait a minute. Wait, hand me the phone here. I need to see this. Uh, Derek, give your thoughts on the butcher and Dustin Rhodes. They're going to have a match on Rampage. Butcher has challenged him. Honestly, I I I'm interested in this match. I, I like how uh, Butcher is coming back. Um, lost he lost some he lost some weight. Looks good. Um, just just watching uh watching Butcher wrestle versus um Dustin Rhodes. Like I, I definitely feel like that that'll be a good match. That Dustin Rhodes always puts on a good match, but I I do feel for Butcher though. I think he needs I think he needs a lot more burn than what he's getting. But that that that's just my take on it. I'm a loser. Yo, when did all these skate parks show up? And why have I never seen one? Bro, I have never seen those. Oh, wait. This is Canada I'm looking at. Hold on. Go back, I'm bro. I, th- I think it's only a couple. I think it's only a couple. <laughs> Yo, where is this place? Federal F. What is this? Federal F. That doesn't, that doesn't even look like it's even worthy of being called. It says it's in Buffalo. Yeah, these skate parks look lame, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like th- These look like, yo, CJ and Derek went to Home Depot. Set up a couple ramps. We're out, y'all. Peace. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. Uh, I I did see one where they were playing like hockey at it. That's probably cool. That's cool. Um, let me see here. <laughs> Matt said I tried skateboarding one time. Derek was pretty good at skateboarding back in the day, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was decent. I was decent. Uh, hitting all those pop shovets. <laughs> a nice little kickflip. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought about uh, someone we went to uh, elementary school with. Oh, Mike. Yep, pop, sh- pop, <laughs> shove it <laughs> <to> your mom. He <laughs> said, <laughs> "Terrible dude, terrible yeah. dude." Yo, shout out to Mike. I don't think he listens or watches wrestling anymore. But shout out to Mike. Right. We have some of the best skate parks. I used to travel to California from Washington to skate those parks. Wow, that's what's up, Derek. Where's the shirt designs? I told you how to stop asking about <laughs> this. Wait, which one do we? Which one, which one? I think Derek. I think you need to make one say, "Get yourself a donut." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Yo, sit coming for us in the uh thing here. As long as AEW shows out banger after banger, I will watch it. Improvements. Uh I, I don't think they have an issue in the wrestling department at all. I think it's the other stuff if they have to work on anything. Like I said, it was the video packages, reminding yeah. people of things. They're getting there. Uh Dustin had half the Finn Balor face paint on tonight. Dustin Butcher should be good. 
Uh, he says skateboarding in Buffalo. You sure you don't mean snowboarding? <laughs> Honestly, we don't have enough to snowboard here either. You got to go uh, far out yeah. where they don't clean up the snow or they can pack it all into a place for you to do it. Yeah. Here, shoot. We used to play King of the Mountain where they had like construction sites and stuff. Right. Snow yeah. piled up. Oh, you went to that party, right? The Tony Hawk party. Yeah, this is coming full oh, circle yeah, right yeah. now at Mike's house, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, I was winning those. Yeah, yeah. They were they were jumping me, bro. We were having uh, King of the Mountain. It was like the Royal Rumble. They didn't know. I was tossing boys left and right. I was the nice, quiet guy at school. I was like, yo, y'all got to go. Ah, ah, yo, jump them. <laughs> I was like, yo, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I do remember that. Yeah, good times. Good times. Um. Let me see. Best feud, brother feud is the hearts. Yeah, but, but they weren't really a tag team. That was my point, Mike. Like tag teams. Brett and Owen will have a, a bigger feud because they gave those time back then. But even then, the Adam Copeland Christian feud spans over mad stuff. Yeah. Mad companies. Like, good for them. Yeah. They they I shouldn't say mad companies, these two companies, but well, but still, even though you, you can still say, like, all right, we we were we were brothers, we were tag champs. Went back, then I became the mid card. He became the mid card. I became the heavy top heavyweight. He became the top heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. Steiner Bros. Nah, that that feud was whack. As soon as Rick Steiner was talking to Chucky, I was done. Which comes back in April, by the way. Definitely gonna be looking forward to that. Um, Timeless Tony Storm does a Turner Classic movie little bit for us here. Uh, it worked. It was funny. Uh, I. Yeah, I don't know who watches Turner Classic Movie still, but I get the uh, correlation here. It was brand synergy. Right. Uh, yeah. She was like, <laughs> repeat after me. <laughs> Tits out. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Watch for the shoe. What does that even mean? <laughs> I thought he was going to get clobbered with one. I thought apparently, so too. <laughs> but apparently they were like, no, nah, don't throw that at him. <laughs> that, that man's royalty here on this network. <laughs> We'll lose endorsements fast. <laughs> real fast. Uh, we had the best friends, the team of Orange Cassidy and Trent, probably the uh, strongest form of the team that you could have versus the Undisputed Kingdom quarterfinals of this. Uh, I saw people wondering where's Wardlow. I think Wardlow is going to just show he doesn't care. <laughs> I saw a bunch of people asking. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Wardlow's like, I'm not going to do what you say because I don't care. Roger Strong tried to interfere. This allowed Chuck Taylor to interfere. Chuck Taylor got involved. This allowed Trent Beretta to do a jackknife pinfall for the win. Um, you know what? I'll say from this match, I know that these two are just in it to be in it right now. Right. But Undisputed Kingdom have been impressing me. I think they're really good in the ring. They are. Matt Taven included. Listen, I've never <laughs> said Matt Taven is like, OP trash or anything like that. <laughs> what I'm going to say is Matt Taven should have not been the world champ when he won it, though. <laughs> is that fair? Is that a fair thing to say? Yeah. I was talking with some homies earlier, man, and they had brought up, like, yeah, you could put anyone in the championship feud. And I, and I didn't respond yet. But my response is, insert certain people, and no, everybody is not over, depending on the – you can give anybody that story. That is not true. <laughs> That is not true. Just insert someone who you think you're like, nah, nah. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Insert insert a great storyline. Take out one of the people and put that person in. Nah, it ain't working for me. It takes time. It's a buildup. Uh, let me see here. He said, love that brand synergy. Oh, yes. And a Chucky movie is coming out. Yes, Matt. I just saw that during Dynamite. So, uh, is it going to be Brad Dourif, though? Yeah, Don Mancini's making it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know if his kids know how to do the voice. He might be training them because she's in it. Well, his his daughter can do it, but it you can tell it's not. You can tell it's not him. But she with AI it. today, bro. Well, true. It, it'll be good. They'll That's they'll true. they'll be able to mimic his voice. That's very true. Um, the crazy thing is, will he get residuals for it? He should. He, I think so. Uh. That, that that man will burn the whole movie uh, movie world down if he don't get his residual. Oh, Mike, good point there for tag teams though. Pillman and uh, Austin was a good one too that you brought up. Oh, yeah. uh, I DVR. Uh, did he say that best rivalries is Stone Cold? Yeah. Well, whatever. If you didn't bring it up when you put Stone Cold, it made me think of Pillman. <clears throat> Sorry, voice was getting froggy. Uh, e says I DVR uh, movies off of TMC. 
Still good considering uh, some of WB's decision making as of late. Who are you telling, brother? Hmm. Uh, as soon as you turn forty, life starts to slow you down. Don't tell me that, bro. I'm getting I'm closer to that than anything. Uh, Taven and Bennett are so good. Taven was having a great run. Uh, Mike Bennett as well. <laughs> Chucky will never die. X Games rule either with a skateboard or a bike, snowmobile, bro. Extreme for life, bro. X Games was fire, bro. I used to watch it all the time. Any 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 time it came on, I would I would sit and watch. Yo, I'll tell you guys this: me and Derek have been telling people for years about women's basketball. Yo, women's basketball in college right now is on fire. Oh. I feel like it's more popular than the guys, even. Absolutely. Yo, they're yeah. they're going in right now. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. Listen, the greatest greatest uh, female coach, Pat Summit. Pat, yo, yeah, they dominated for years. Pat was Summit there. was fire. Rest in peace. Rip. Uh, also check out our friends at everything college basketball. They got a nice Facebook group. Make sure you guys go in there and show love. I think it's too late to enter their uh, tournament bracket for March madness, but show them some love. Yes, please do. Best friends move on. Young buck showed up at the top of the ramp. We don't care. Do we? So that, that was it. That match will be happening next week on dynamite. That's what led us to believe that maybe he's not hurt. So, well, I, I, I don't think he's hurt just by the way that he was standing when they were going back down. He was standing like like with his knees kind of like bent. Uh, dude, the young that's what made me mad though when they went back down the tunnel. Yeah. Those moments, that's where young bucks are acting goofy, and I'm like, I don't like this. Yeah, no. Stop being goofy. Cut it out. No, if, if you're gonna be the EVPs, then be that. I be that. Uh Young Bucks did all that to show they have the keys to the Cody Vader. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I don't know why they – I don't get it. Uh, also, I forgot to announce this was announced today. AEW Double or Nothing returning back to MGM Grand in Las Vegas Sunday, May 26th. Nice. They're back. They're back. Anniversary weekend once again. That's what I think of every time we get to this. So hold it down. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to it. So let's see if they deliver. I know last year I didn't really – I have not been liking Double or Nothing like the last couple. Like there's been a few that I'm like, eh. Last yeah. year was one where I didn't feel it too much. Yeah. I, I, I could agree with that. But let's see. That will also be available on Triller. So make sure you guys check that out. Please, please go hit them up. Go hit them up. So then Kyle O'Reilly's backstage before the main event. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Kyle O'Reilly's interviewed by Renee. He says he's having another match on Collision. Uh, he said that he appreciates the people in the Undisputed Kingdom, but right now he is focused on proving himself to prove where he belongs. Serving pies. <laughs> Derek always says he looks like he serves pizza. When he came out, I started cracking up. <laughs> Had the white t-shirt on with the backwards hat. <laughs> he looks like he serves pizza, bro. I'm sorry. No, double pep. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I need two pies. Hurry. <laughs> Parmesan's over there. <laughs> Extra napkins? Yeah, I got you. Hold on, player. It's a little, it's a little saucy. Uh, yeah, Prince Rockstar says, screw the Bucks. Last year, uh, the Vegas crowd sucked. Listen, AW's got to be smart, too. People are going to hold out on tickets now. They're doing the old WCW. Yeah. Let's see how long we can hold out before they start giving away tickets. Don't give away the tickets. No. no, no, Don't do it. Don't do it. You'll learn. Main event time. Kanosuke Takeshka, Swerve Strickland. Uh, this match Tony kind of announced will be a number one contendership earlier in the week because the rankings are coming back. I guess they're monthly now. I don't care. <laughs> just get rid of the rankings, bro. Yeah. Get, they're stupid. Yeah, just yeah. do what you're going to do. Yeah, you get rid of the rankings just like you can uh, get rid of the draft. Like, no one's clamoring for this. It, it's stupid. Yeah. What draft, what rankings? You can say it for both. Uh, yes. I know I know. McKinney wanted me to say that for both, <laughs> but it's true. Like, I don't care. Neither of these matter. No. Uh, Swerve hits the uh, stomp. Everyone thinks it's over, but Kanosuke Takeshka kicks out. Takeshka looked very, like, what's the OP in this? Like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. kicking out of everything. Yeah, yeah. Give this dude a championship this year. Yes. Like, I know I'm advocating for Swerve be the world champ. I still agree with that. But Takeshka should be your international TNT. He should be some type of champion soon. I agree with that. Sooner than later, in my opinion. Absolutely. Because um, he, he's, done, he's done enough to get a title shot. He's, he's done well in, 
well over the amount. To uh oh, so. uh oh. Matt Lopez says, "Check your DMs." I'll I'll bring up the rankings right after this. Um, Swerve gets the win with the JML driver. It is now known as Big Pressure. So if you hear me say that. Uh, pressure. should happen. Uh, Matt is also calling Kanosuke to dethrone Copeland. I see the same thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm good with that. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Like, Copeland, all I really want to see Copeland do is be tag champs with Christian at this point. He, he's yeah. good to me. I want them to retire together. Together. Right off into the sunset. Peace. All good. All good. And I don't know if that's going to be in two years, one year. It's happening sooner than later, but. Oh, yeah. We get there. So I love after the match. They go to Samoa Joe, who was watching on the monitor. Unlike Okada, they went to Joe to talk, but that's because Joe had an interest in this match more so. Right. And he said, okay, Swerve, you want to be the man? You're the champ. Next week, you're going to sign on the dotted line, so we're probably getting a contract signing next week. And he said that you're going to know next week that you're not the man. And Joe said it angrily. I believe Joe. Th- th- I think that's why Joe has the championship. Yes. Guys? What just about an hour? What are you? What is your rating for tonight's show? You can do thumbs up, thumbs down, rate it out of donuts. I don't know. You tell me. Um, Derek, that might be your rating from now on. What, the donuts. The donuts. <laughs> hey, I respect it. Uh, I got, I'm. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm say eight. Eight out of twelve donuts. Yeah. <laughs> eight Stop. out of twelve donuts. Hold on. Eight out of twelve doesn't sound good though, brother. Glazed. Eight out of twelve does not sound good. Let me see here. Eight divided by twelve. Ooh, ooh, that's not good, bro. Oh, really fast. Out of ten, maybe. Out of ten. What do you want to say out of ten? Did I have you capping too much? <laughs> Seven five. Seven five out of ten. Yeah, I'll agree with that. It, it was probably on the lower end of the last five. But not bad, once again. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you it's a failure of a show. Yeah. Uh, for me, weekly shows I like to do thumbs up or thumbs down. It's that simple. Thumbs up show. Not bad. Not the best wrestler show of the week, but not bad. I'm no. not upset with it. Not at all. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Joe's going to whoop on Swerve and Nana next week. Matt says 8 out of 10. E said big thumbs up. I ain't mad at it. Okay. Chris Nana is going to call Joe uh, to lose the belt to Swerve. Let's go. Rockstar says seven. Not wrong. I like that age. I like that uh that that range for the show. Yeah. Um I, I don't know. I don't know what else uh people could ex- expect from a show like this. Like it's what it is. There, there, there's nothing. I mean, there's there's something building up to Destiny, but it, it Destiny's one? What is Dynasty? It? Or Dynasty, sorry. <laughs> I was like Destiny. <laughs> say my name. Say my name. <laughs> uh, Dy- when is Dynasty? Uh, April. Hold on. Actually, I have the graphics right here. Booyah. So April twenty first. April. So 21st. so I I don't really think that this is the the show that's gonna like take us home or take us on the road to Dynasty. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it though. So right now we have Will Osprey, Brian Danielson. We got another match made on the show for uh, uh, Willow Nightingale and Julia Hart. Mm-hmm. They're starting to build the matches up. That's cool. They've been teasing us for a while with some of them. Oh, and the tag title finals are going to be on the show, which yeah. a lot of people are predicting. FTR and the Bucks could be. I don't. I don't like when they wrestle though. It feels weird all the time, dude. Because you know. You... Well, no, FTRs won more of the matches. Yeah, absolutely, but but you know, you know, it's it's not it's not particularly a match. It's more so like, all right, we're getting FTR in the ring with the Bucks so that FTR can like blow off steam because because of how how they got treated. They should have had all those tag team title belts, and they got screwed from it. Well, that's on Tony for, sure. for not putting them on them. Let me go into the DMs real quick. Uh, Matt said he had something for me in here. Yo, big shout out to my, my guy, Cray, for uh, tweeting out that we were live. Thank you, Cray. Thank you, Cray. Just saw that. Uh, hold on here. Shout out to Steve Carino going to the GCW Hall of Fame. I'm just shouting out everything. Don't forget tomorrow on Triller TV, they have uh, Grit Your Teeth for Wrestling Revolver. 
And let's see here what this is saying. Uh, Matt, I did see that match for Ring of Honor. I just don't know if it's announced yet because I saw like it still looks like that tournament's going on. I don't want to reveal the finals of it just yet. Your rankings. Swerve Strickland, number one contender. Mm -hmm. Orange Cassidy is number two. Don't ask. John Moxley is number three. I did not book this, folks. Uh, Will Ospreay is four, and Brian Danielson is five. How, bro? I did not book this. Okay. Thunder Rosa, number one contender, I think, for the... She women's... just got back. Nah, Thunder Rosa's been winning, bro. She's been in tag matches. She's I don't, I don't think she's lost since she came back. Okay. And she pinned Tony Storm, technically, in the tag match. Okay, well, that counts. Mariah May, number two. She's been undefeated as well. How many matches has she had? A couple. Five, really? six, yeah. It's been a few. Okay. Willow Nightingale is three. Mm -hmm. Deanna Perrazzo has slid to four. Mm -hmm. and Serena Deep is number five. Serena, all these people who I just named haven't lost. I think Perrazzo lost one match. Yeah, Perrazzo. Was and maybe Willow something. lost one. I don't In the beginning of the year. Like, she's oh, been yeah, undefeated yeah. since then. Yeah. Tag titles are vacant, but they have number one, are the best friends. How and why, I don't know. EVPs are number two. Three is Claudio and John Moxley, who I think should have been in the tournament. They they should be number two. But I think Moxley's out because I haven't seen him too much on TV. Big Bill and Ricky Starks four, FTR five. Trio champions, which is another match I think we're going to get for Dynasty. Bang Bang, uh, the Bang Bang Gang, the uh, Bullet Club Gold are number one contenders for the trios titles. The Elite are two. Blackpool Combat Club are three. Undisputed Kingdom four. House of Black five. Hmm. Tony, get rid of these damn rankings. I said it. I don't care. People can talk all that mess that they want to. Uh, Stardom have announced the following the test this past weekend. They plan to air live shows on Stardom World moving forward beginning in April. Okay. I'm just putting people out there. Lion Hook has a t-shirt as well. Oh, God. Jericho going to Jericho, bro. No words for it. Uh, okay. it was the semis last week, so that'll be the final. So you can say, okay, it's going to be Billy, uh, Billy Starks versus Queen Aminata. So that's another match for ROH Supercard of Honor. Mox was reportedly uh, banged up, so they let him rest for the CML show on Friday and his New Japan dates he has coming. I'm calling it now. Windy City Riot. John Moxley becomes the uh, IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. I can see that. They need star power. Yeah. And Moxley could be the guy to give it to him. Hey. It's time. They lost a lot of people in New Japan, bro. They did. But always face an opportunity to read back. Absolutely. Guys, make sure that you are uh, over here showing us some love, man. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, Twitter, come over. Make sure you leave a like on the uh, YouTube side of things. Uh, trying to grow over here. We did finally hit that 2K. Now we're trying to get to 3K. So make sure you guys help us out with that. Uh, sorry, I sound nasally. I don't know what's happening with my nose right now. Uh, but I think this is a good time to try to end the stream. So for everyone who rocked with us tonight, thank you. Um, I didn't see a lot of how AEW could improve. <laughs> Saw a lot of other things in there. I don't know what else people want. Tweet at me or send me a DM of what you think AEW can do to improve. I've been wondering this for like six months now at this point. Tell me what you guys think. I'm interested to hear it. Uh, I'll report back to Derek. Hubs, I'll let Derek know uh, what you asked reluctantly. <laughs> for myself and the man they call Derek, we are out for everything pro wrestling this week. Catch you all next week with another live Dynamite. See you on Monday for Clash of the Podcast. We are out. One.